News. Bryce Newberry continues our live team coverage from Texas Children's Hospital tonight where that injured child who was with the shooter is in the hospital. Bryce. Yeah, Bill, and right now it is still not clear whose gunfire struck that five-year-old child. But as you heard from Chief Troy Finner, he is putting the blame squarely on that female suspect, saying that she was the one who put that child in harm's way. At last check, the child is in critical condition. And tonight here at the Texas Children's Hospital, we've not received any additional updates on the child's condition. But as you can see here, we have seen a consistent HPD presence outside of the hospital. Those cruisers have been parked out here for several hours tonight, but right now we cannot connect those officers being here to the shooting earlier today at Lakewood Church. We have been going through some of the scanner traffic from today's massive police response, though, and that is helping give us a better idea of exactly what unfolded. We need to kind of for the child. There's going to be a small juvenile mill complaint that has been struck in the head and is also near the west side entrance of the church. Those are the only two people down right now. We're looking at the video, and it's only halfway. We only see the female walking in, and she has a car with her. He has the uh, yellow shirt, red shorts, but it looks like he was the one that was struck. And again, all of that scanner traffic from preliminary reports as officers and first responders arrived on the scene at Lakewood Church earlier today. And tonight, police have not confirmed any relationship between that female suspect and the five-year-old child. We don't know. That is a big question that we still have tonight. Again, that child in critical condition. We will continue to keep you updated on any developments. Live at the Texas Medical Center, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.